Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong, and I'm the product manager for the code review group in the create stage here at GitLab. Code review is a brand new group. And while we're here today to talk about 13.7 and the kickoff and what we've got planned, I do want to take a brief moment and talk about code review and what this new group means. So let me share my screen. So code review group is going to be focused on two main categories. The first one is the code review group that's long been part of source code. This will allow the code review team to go and build on top of those features and continue building on that lovable experience that we've already got with a dedicated focus of a product manager, product designer, and engineering team. The other category that will be in, a, in the scope of this group is the editor extension category. So the editor extension category is responsible for our VS Code extension and how we integrate with that and integrate GitLab into VS Code. Uh, the reason the code review group will be taking this on is that one of the primary things that the editor extension category is focused on right now is completing uh, merge request reviews inside of VS Code. So we'll talk about that in the 13.7 kickoff. We've got some upcoming features there, but let's dive into the rest of 13.7 and what the code review group will be working on. So you can take a look and see, uh, I'll link this planning issue down below in the video. This will just show you what we've been talking about, how we've been planning, and some of the other things we're evaluating and looking at. Uh, this is the board. I'll also link this. This has a number of issues, um, some of our feature issues that we're building, as well as you can take a look and see bugs and UX improvements and other opportunities that we're looking at here. So the first thing I want to start with is merge request reviewer. So in 13.5 and 13.6, we were working on merge request reviewers. This adds a new field to uh, merge requests that allows you to assign a reviewer to the MR. And so this is independent of the assignee and clearly indicates that this person will be reviewing and likely approving and doing other things for that MR. So we've been working on that uh, in 13.5 and 13.6. We've got some final things that we're trying to clean up. And so um, one of that is a filter for the reviewer so that you're able to find uh, merge requests where you've been assigned as a reviewer. And uh, we're also cleaning up a couple other things. These were scheduled for 13.6, and we think they'll ship very close to the end of 13.6, but we're not confident enough to have those on. And so we think that this will delay the entire reviewer feature until 13.7 and give us a little bit more time to uh, do this in 13, or test this over the course of 13.7 before enabling that by default. So I just wanted to bring that back around as I know we've talked a lot about reviewers previously. And so this puts this here. Um, they're also working, this is one of the other refinements there is showing sort of, um, area of expertise or the approval rules that a person might match uh, when you select a reviewer. The other thing that the code review group has consistently been working on is um, using merge request, using merge rest for diffs. And so this changes the comparison from um, the base when the, you know, when the branch was originally created to the head. So with the current state of the branch that you're merging back into is. Um, <clears throat> the work for this has largely been done and you can currently do this inside of a merge request now. This is the, the comparison option. What we need to work on in order to remove some of the other options is improving the way we handle merge conflicts. Part of switching to um, comparing against the head is that you're more likely to see merge conflicts. And so we're gonna be working on some of the cases of conflicts and how we detect those and making sure that you can deal with those very quickly and easily uh, inside of the merge request so you can get those resolved and get your merge request done. So that's what we'll be working on in 13.7. There's a number of issues in this epic. I will link um, this, I'll link everything else, but I'll link this epic and you can see sort of the ones that we're gonna be targeting for 13.7. We're mostly through this. We expect this to be 13.7, potentially into 13.8, and then we'll be able to clean up that code and, and simplify that experience. Um, on to features and something new that we're gonna be looking at and taking on in 13.7 is, um, changing the file order in the sidebar list view and in the file tree to be consistent with the way that the diffs are viewed uh, and making sure that that's a cohesive experience and an experience that uh, emulates how you'd be expecting to see files. So um, I'll link this issue here. One of the things that you can look at is sort of something like this where um, it's sort of hard to understand the, the nesting of these files and how that works where more consistently you might see um, files and then folders uh, when you have that viewing experience. So. We'll be taking a look at that in 13.7 and hope to make some improvements to that area to make it easier to scroll down the file tree list and down the diffs and get a consistent experience evaluating those. One of the other things that we're going to be working on in 13.7 is a custom commit message when applying a suggested change. So suggested changes exist in merge requests. They allow you to propose you know, a change to the lines that you're, uh, that you're reviewing and, and make that change and we apply a, a default commit message. 
the problem with that commit message is it doesn't sometimes doesn't follow commit standards for the project. And so if that's the case, then you can't even use these suggestions in your project because we wouldn't match your um, commit standards. So what we'll allow you to do is when you go to apply a suggestion, there'll be a new option that allows you to specify the commit message. By specifying the commit message, you'll be able to conform to your standards, click commit, and have that change go through without needing to go and replicate that change in your local editor. The last thing we're doing is making an improvement to uh, multi-line comments inside of the merge request. So currently you can make a multi-line comment inside of a merge request by um, toggling a dropdown and selecting which line numbers the comment applies to. We're gonna be adding the ability to select the comment icon and drag down in 13.7, and that'll allow you to uh, make a comment about that group of lines versus just kind of one line at the end or trying to deal with that toggle. You'll be able to visually do this, and we think that'll really improve the ability to um, give the full context of what you're trying to leave that comment on in a low friction area, low friction way and area. So that's what we're working on in code review and the typical spaces that you're used to in the merge request. I want to bring you into the VS Code extension now and talk about what we're doing here. So inside of VS Code, we've already got the ability to see merge requests and issues inside of there. You can leave some comments and do some other things. In 13.6, uh, we worked on a proof of concept that allowed you to uh, explore a merge request and see the diffs without having to check that out and do any of those things. Um, I'll link this epic down below. You can see some results here. There was also a uh, proof of concept, and we'll quickly kind of open this up. Um, and what you can see in the proof of concept is that, um, sorry about that, there was a, you can, Get a view where you can see the merge request, see a description field, see the files that are actually included as part of that merge request. Uh, and we're also experimenting with viewing comments and other things. So the goal, the long-term goal there will be able to do comments, but right now we're sort of just viewing those. So in 13.7, we're going to continue building on this and adjusting the current file tree in VS Code to what you just saw in that proof of concept. And so as you look at merge requests in a project, you'll now see a description, you'll see the file tree, and you'll see all the files that are included in that merge request. And so this will be a really nice way inside of VS Code to get a sense of what's in that merge request and what you need to be looking at. The other item we're gonna be doing is um, showing the diffs. And so once you get to this file tree view that we saw back here, if you click on one of these files, we'll open up the diff for you right there in the editor and you'll see sort of what's changed and what's new in that file. So these are the first steps that we're taking to get to a point where you can complete a merge request review inside of VS Code. Um, but this is just the, the first thing that we're talking about here is trying to build that file view and make it easier to get through those. And then we'll work on commenting and the ability to leave all that feedback. And that'll you know help to complete the code review process inside of uh, VS Code. So that's what we have going on for 13.7 inside of the code review group. Like I said, it's a new group. I'm gonna link stuff down below. Uh, if you have any feedback for these items or other items, the issues will be there. Please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and I'm really excited about 13.7. I think it's gonna be an awesome release. I'm really excited about the new focus we've got. So um, I hope you're just as excited as we are. And thanks for watching.